Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video we're going to be doing an autumn nail design. Now I feel as though my Instagram has just been flooded with autumn nails so I just wanted to jump in and do a set. It did feel a little bit early to start autumn nails but they are my favourite nail season so I'm excited to start with all the autumn colours and nail art so I really hope you all enjoy it watching. Now I am working on pressing on nail tips today but I do like lately prefer coming in with my base coat still. So I've taken the rubber colored base in 03, which is a really nice, soft, peachy color. And I'm gonna apply a layer of this to all of the nails and cure that for 30 seconds. Now I do have lots of natural nail videos where I'm working on my own nails. So I will link a playlist for those in the description box below. Now I love using the rubber colour bases because I find they give you a hint of pigmentation underneath your coloured gel polish coat and that really makes your colour pop and in certain circumstances with certain colours you will find you only need one coat of colour. So here I'm taking the gorgeous coral whip and I'm just going to do one coat of this and I find that's enough because it's a peach shade over a peach base, it just didn't need a second coat of colour. Now coral whip has been one of my favourite colours to use during the summer months, it's a very spring summer shade but I really wanted to include it in this autumn set because it did feel quite early for full-on autumn colors so I wanted to add in a little hint of summer and then we're going to be on these two nails using the new stencil leaves water decals I love these kind of leafy nail art designs all year round I find that you can include them with any different color and make them work for whichever season you are in but of course they are perfect for autumn because autumn is all about the leaves now I'm going to apply these using using the jelly stamper method. And as you can see, it just makes application really, really easy. That has gone down super smoothly, but I am just gonna take my Kiki London silicone tool just to kind of ease over it to make sure it has all adhered nicely. And then you'll see here, I pop my next water decal down. I'm dampening it using the angled nail art brush and a little bit of room temperature water. Then that backing paper slides off the image easily and you can literally press it down wherever you want it to go. And then again, I just come over the top with that silicone tool. And if there are any creases or bubbles, you can get them out at that stage. But I do find with the jelly stamper method, I don't really get too many creases or bubbles. So now onto the rest of this design, I wanna add in a little bit of hand painted nail art. So I'm gonna take Olive U, which is one of my favorite colors for the autumn season. I wanted this set as well to include a couple of different colors so you can kind of get a look of what some of the autumn shades look like. Then we've got a deep rouge. This is one I actually find I usually reach for more in the winter months, but it is a gorgeous red for autumn as well because it's not a too bright in your face Christmassy red, if that makes sense. It's really nice deep red and then I'm going to pair those three colors up with ivory ivory is a beautiful creamy shade I believe this is from last year's autumn collection and I really really loved it last year and then for the hand painted nail art I'm going to be using my detail brush as well as my stripe liner brush so I wanted these hand paint nail art to be quite simple I want this to be a very salon friendly design and I'm just going to be painting on some shaped Eat simple shaped flowers basically. And the reason I want to use both brushes is to create different effects with the petals. So on this now, I'm gonna be using just the detail brush and it creates more just simply by dotting down your gel polish and pulling it out a little bit. You can create a really simple rounded shaped flower. And then on the other now, I'm gonna use the stripe liner brush because that helps you create a more pointed shape. And as you can see, this is really, really simple but it looks really cute in my opinion. And I know that lots of the Kiki London users, so you watchers are salon nail techs, or a lot of you are beginner nail techs as well, and that's why you're watching the tutorials. So I try and like to include a mix of beginner friendly nail art as well as some more harder techniques. So I hope you enjoy them. Do let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you like to see, because that really helps me when it comes to creating content. So as you can see, I'm just drawing on these really, really simple hand painted flower shapes, just letting the brush do its thing, simply dotting it down and going around in that circular shape to create the flower shape. Now I have the 96 watt Deluxe Kiki lamp, which has a 10 second cure feature. 
So every now and then I do flash cure. You probably don't see that on camera, but just take the nail, pop it in for a 10 second flash cure. That's gonna freeze that flower in place. So then if you make any mistakes on the next one, you can easily wipe it off. Now I wanted to include all three of those colors, but it's not too full on. The other nails are gonna have some of those colors as well. So it will tie the whole set together. Now this kind of set was, kind of, I had in mind what I wanted to do, but I hadn't, usually I write down some ideas. I didn't do that this day. I kind of just winged it. I wanted to just throw in the autumn colors and see what I come up with, because that's some of the most fun way to do nails. So I wanted to include all three of those colors on this nail, so I could then tie them in on the other nails. Once I had finished doing all the flowers, we're gonna pop them into Cure, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kiki London Black Heart. We're only gonna need a tiny bit of this because we're gonna use this to dot on the center of our flowers. And the easiest way to create dots is with the Kiki London Dotting and Gem Tool. So I'm gonna take the dotting tool end, run it into my black gel polish and simply dot on the centers. And I find that just adding that little dot in takes it looking from quite a random shape to a really cutesy little flower. And as well, I reached for black rather than white for my centers because I felt that tied in those stencil leave water decals as well because you're pulling the black from them. On to the second now, we are gonna do it very similar, but with our stripe liner brush, because again, this is a quick and easy way to create a different shaped flower because of the different style to the tip of the brush. The detail brush is very short and a little bit fatter. So I find that's perfect for creating those rounded shapes where the stripe liner brush is longer, but the tip of it is very, very thin. So you can create really nice points. And that was what I wanted to include in this design because we've used two different leaves. I kind of wanted to go for two different flowers as though, you know, it's two different plants. So I'm doing a very similar as before, like literally going around from the center and just pulling out the gel polish to create that random, easy, rough flower shape. Again, I'm gonna use all three colors so it ties everything together nicely. And I'm gonna make use of that 10 second flash cure feature. If you don't, if you are using a different lamp and you don't have a 10 second flash cure feature, you can pop it in for 30 seconds and just count to 10. But I do love my Kiki London lamp for that 10 second feature. I use it all the time when I'm doing any kind of hand painting. Because say for example here, I've done the red flower and the green ones. If I flash cured each color as we go, or even each flower as we go, if you then make a mistake, you're able to wipe off the one that you've made the mistake on without taking off the others because flash curing will freeze that gel polish in place. Always bear in mind, if you are doing any flash curing, still do your full 30 second cure at the end just to make sure everything has fully cured. So now that I'm happy with that one, I'm gonna pop it in to cure and then we're gonna just dot on those little black dots for the centers of our flowers as well. And on this design, I wanted to mix it up by having the leaves on the tip and the flowers at the cuticle area. And I'd done it the other way around on the previous nail because I quite like how that looks when I'm wearing a set of nails, just having the nails the same but ever so slightly different. In my opinion, I did prefer the rounded flowers compared to the more pointed ones. I think they looked a little bit more autumnal. Now on to this now, I'm gonna come in and we're gonna do a full now of that deep rouge because I wanted to pull a lot more of that color into the set of nails. I think this is a lovely color for the end of summer going into autumn because you know, you've got the reds, which we still have quite a lot of reds and oranges at the end of summer. Now I did do two coats of this color because it's very highly pigmented, but I do work with it in quite thin layers. And then on this one, we're gonna keep the nail art on this one quite simple because we've got a lot going on in the previous two nails and I had a different design in mind for the pointer finger. So I wanted to keep this finger a little bit more simple. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gorgeous, amber flame, I was gonna call it autumn flame. I'm gonna take the gorgeous amber flame, which is a really kind of like a rust orange glitter color. And I'm simply gonna take my stripe liner brush and go around the edge of the nail and frame that gorgeous deep rouge with the amber flame. And this design is a little tricky to do on the natural nail, but if you just make sure you position your client's hand, how you're finding it comfortable, move them around a lot if it comes to it, just so you can get easily around the cuticle and side walls. And one thing with the stripe liner brush is you're able to take a small amount onto it and get a really nice and neat crisp line quite easily. I just find that it's easier to not overload the brush. So you'll see rather than putting lots of glitter gel polish down on my brush, and doing the whole frame in one go. I'm backwards and forwards, just taking a little bit at a time because I find the less gel polish I have on my brush, the more control I have over it. 
And then once I was happy with the entire frame, I just wanted to thicken it up a little bit just so you could see that gorgeous glitter a little bit more. I did only do one coat of this glitter. Sometimes I will do two, but I didn't want it to overly pop because I wanted the nail to look quite subtle. But of course, if you did want it to look a little bit more full on glittery, you could come in and do a second coat of that. But I just love how that hint of glitter tied nicely with the previous two nails. Now on to the point of finger, I was going to do a nude base on this one. I was actually going to do a second coat of the RB03 that I'd used, but I decided to come in and do ivory as my base instead because I wanted to pull a little bit more of ivory into the set because we only have a hint of it in those flowers. So I'm going to come in and do a full coat of this. Again, I only did one coat because I found with the rubber colored base underneath, it really made the pigmentation of the color pop. So I just did one coat of this, popped it in. I've cleaned up my palette from previous use because there's quite a lot of gel polish on there and then I'm going to come in with a small amount of olive U. and on this now I want to do a French and usually when I do a French now I will pop down a nude or a more neutral base but like I said I want to pull more of that ivory into the set so I risked it and did ivory for my base and then we're going to do the olive U French tip and I'm not 100% sure. Like, let me know what you think. They're not two colors that I would usually put together in a French, but I do feel the colors will work really nicely together. So I'm taking my French brush, which if you haven't already got the Kiki London French brush, you definitely need to get it. It makes French a hell of a lot quicker than the previous way I used to do it using the stripe liner brush for quickness and ease. It's really, really good. I wanted to go for more of a deeper French on this one, but I didn't want to take those sides down too much. So as you can see, I just two step one side, flip the brush over the other side. I had not got my application as neat as I'd wanted it to be. So I've taken the Kiki London round brush with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just sharpening and cleaning up that smile line just so it's as crisp and as neat as possible. And then I'm just touching up again with the sides of that French nail art brush. Then we're going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds. And I'm going to repeat those steps for the second coat. So you see that I load up the brush quite a lot, kind of place it down exactly where we want our smile line to be, and then just pull down. I find I don't really use it like you would a brush as such. It's quite light strokes. Obviously, it's like using a brush, but I kind of stamp it down and then pull. And I find this gets you that really nice crisp shape. I really love this brush for creating shorter gel, French gel polish tips because I find you can get really nice arches with the angled part of that brush. Again, I'm going to clean up a little bit once I'm happy with the smile line just so it's nice and crisp. Another thing I like with this brush as well is I find it works better loaded up with your gel polish. I find that sometimes with nail art brushes, I use quite a small amount of gel polish like I was saying with the stripe liner brush. But this one, it's the opposite. I find it easier to use if I load it up with a generous amount of gel polish. They're roughly the same amount you would have if you were working with your bottle brush. So cleaning up again with a little bit of alcohol on the round brush just to help create that really nice crisp French. And then I want to add in a little bit more of that glitter. I didn't use too much glitter on the other nail, so I wanted to add a little bit more on this one. So I'm taking Amber Flame, adding it down onto my Kiki London palette. And I'm going to take my angled nail up brush and we're going to do like a glitter fade French tip. So I'm just placing a small amount down at the very tip of the nail. And then I'm going to flip the nail around. You can still do this in, if you're working on a client, just get them to flip their hand around. And then I'm going to take my ombre brush and just start feathering into it. The Kiki London, this particular ones, these particular glitters are from the Spring Bling collection. And I find these are brilliant for doing glitter fades because they're in quite a clear based gel polish and they just fade back really really easily you're still going to be able to see that color that you've put underneath them and they just create really nice pretty glitter fades i find that they're very versatile glitters because you can do two coats of them and get a more opaque glitter coverage but if you want nice subtle glitter fades you only need the one coat then I wanted to tap on some chunky glitters. Now I don't, well, not they're not too chunky. They are still quite fine, but I don't usually use loose glitter in gel polish sets because I find it hard to get a nice thin, even layer. But since Kiki London launched the fan brush, which is what I'm using here, I'm finding that I'm reaching more for adding glitters into my gel polish sets because the fan brush is able to pick up just a small amount of glitter and place it nice and flat on the nail. And I've never been able to achieve that easily before. So as you see, I just use a tiny bit of the amber flame on the fan brush so it was wet to pick up those glitters. 
and then I was able to place it down and then once they're placed down where you want them to go you pop it into cure we're going to do similar again on this now but down at the cuticle area so I'm starting off with the amber flame and my ombre brush just fading it down so that it's a nice thin base for those chunkier glitters over the top then I'm just dipping my fan brush into that amber flame just so that those glitters will stick and as you can see it picks up just a small amount right in the center of that fan brush and you're then able to just nudge it really easily around into place and I like to keep the sides of my fan brush quite empty so if I need to move anything I haven't got extra glitter that I'm adding in then I'm just fading that down again because I want this to look like quite a soft a subtle glitter fade it is going to be a little bit hidden by our gel polish but I'm just fading it down so there's not a harsh line where the glitter ends and then I decided to add a little bit more sparkle so we're going to cure that so that it's set in place and then I'm going to take the deep rouge now I haven't actually done this technique with gel polish before but I quite like how it turned out so let me know what you guys think and I'm going to mix this with a little bit of the Kiki London base coat and this is going to kind of create this it's going to keep the color but it's going to look a lot more translucent so a bit like a jelly gel and then using my round brush I'm going to apply this over all of the glitter so I want the glitter to still have the sparkle but to have that red effect over the top i really love the look of hidden glitters but i do it more in my builder gel set so i wanted to give it a go with the gel polish but i wanted the glitter to have that red glass effect to it so i've applied the rouge and a base coat mix over the glitter and then i'm coming in with the deep rouge bottle brush and painting on the rest of the nail as i wanted this now to kind of match the little finger a little bit i usually kind of tie my thumb and little finger together when i'm doing a design and I'm just applying that to the rest of the nail. Then I come in with a little bit more of that rouge and base mix just to make sure where everything was fully covered. And I want this now to look quite layered. So I wanted that glitter to look nice and subtle underneath, but still have a little pop of sparkle. Then onto the second coat, I'm just going to place the clear down, the clear base coat down over the glitter. I don't want to add any more of the mix because it will cover the glitter a little bit too much. And then I'm going to apply the deep rouge over the rest of it and it will melt in to the base coat a little bit and create a bit of a blend between the two. And I love how it looked. It's definitely something I'm going to try with maybe more lighter shades to see if I can achieve where you can see a little bit more of the glitter. But it was something different and I thought it was fun to do. Then over the top of this now, we're going to add on a little bit of stamping. I wanted to add on some a different leaf to what we've got with our water decals. So it's all looking like a whole mix of autumn leaves. So I'm going to place down just a little image over the top and I want it to go over the top of that glitter because I do love layering up my nail art. So as you can see, I've stamped that down and then I did like how it looked, but I wanted to give the nail a little bit more of a 3D aspect. So we've got the glitter underneath our gel polish, then we've got our stamping on top. So then I'm going to take a little bit of the amber flame and I'm just going to color in the leaves using my stripe liner brush. This is another technique that I absolutely love doing with stamping. Kind of treat it like a coloring book. Use your stamper as an outline place down an image and then color it in with your gel polish. It's great if you are not confident with hand painting because it's still adding a little hand painted element with your stamping. You can do this as well with the water decals as well. So you could pop down the water decals and color in the leaves using your gel polish too. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to pop this in to cure for 30 seconds. And then that is all of our now designs done. I will give you a little glimpse of them before we cure. And I loved how the colors work together. It was a bit of a different color combination for me, but I quite liked how cute they turned out. So we're then going to come in and top coat. And to top coat, I'm going to use the Kiki London No Wipe Rubber Top Coat. I reached for the rubber top coat because I usually do quite a lot of nail art. And this seals everything in perfectly because it is that little bit thicker. So I'm just going to going to apply a thin layer of this to all of the nails and then the rubber top coat does require a 60 second cure so like I said guys do let me know in the comments below if you have any designs you would like to see any techniques that maybe you've seen going around on Instagram or Pinterest that kind of thing and you would like to see me give them a go let me know in the comments below I'm imagining that the next couple of sets will be autumn inspired so I hope that you love autumn nails as much as I do as always do check the description box I leave lots of information in there including links to the Kiki London website I list all the products I've used so if you missed 
what any colors were called, they will be in the description box below. And at the bottom of the description box, I always usually link a few videos that I would recommend watching that are kind of connected to this one. So do check that out as well. This was the finished result after they had cured. Just a look at the shine. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that subscription button and then I shall see you all next Friday. Have a lovely weekend, lots of love, take care, bye-bye.